Okay guys, well we are at the night market here in Kunding. Kunding ye shi. This is probably like extremely cold. I think it's a big I love this place. The truth is. <laughs> Check this out. Serious guys, you've got to check this out over here, over here. Don't worry, we're almost there. We're at the beach! We made it to the beach today! It's the winter break here in Taiwan. And what's not better to spend some great time with your family here at the beach? Yes, guys, today we're in Kunding at this beautiful beach with beautiful sand. Like, look at this. Just beautiful. And the water here is absolutely wonderful. I will be hopping in it soon. I don't care if it's cold. And this place is wonderful. The weather is great, and Kai is playing on the sand. So we're going to play on the water for a bit, and I am just going to have a blast here at the beach in Kundi. really beautiful nice blue skies right behind me white rolling clouds the water here is just absolutely gorgeous and it's all green all around me I love this place but of course looking at the water just doesn't count it's beautiful but you've got to fully experience it so I think it may be cold but I am going to be jumping in, whoa, whoa, in this water completely and I am just stoked and it's time to go in don't worry, I've still got the winter fats. <laughs> this is probably like extremely cold. I don't even know what to think right now. <laughs> cold, and I'm scared. But I learned something from a great, great friend. When you do something, you just gotta do it all the way. That's right, guys, head first. I gotta go back. My skin is whiter than a piece of white paper, so I've already started to get sunburnt. You see, a lot of Asians that I know here in Taiwan always tell me, Wow, you're a white person, you're so lucky, your skin is so beautiful. They all want really white skin. But I'll tell you something, sometimes having white skin is not the best. We get sunburnt so easy. I'll be out here for like 10, 15 minutes, and the next morning I wake up crying. But yeah, I'm already starting to get sunburnt, and it's only been like 20 minutes, so it's actually time to head back. I'm going to shower and everything. Tonight, we are going to the Kunding Night Market. I've heard so much great things about this great night market at this place, and I'm ready to go see what it's all about. So we are going to have to say goodbye to this beautiful beach here in Kunding. I hope, I hope I can come another day. This place is just beautiful. Anyways guys, I'm excited to see what this night market has, what makes it so special, and just eat a lot of great food. So excited right now. Okay, guys. Well, we are at the night market here in Kunding. Kunding ye shi. And I am so excited to check this place out. It's my first time. You see, I am the night market king. Guang ye shi And one of my favorite things to do is go around in all the night markets in Taiwan and to see how they are. So tonight, tonight we are going to give a full review of this night market. I'm gonna be showing you what's in the night market what makes it special, and just what is this place all about? Okay guys, I'm really hungry, so I wanna be trying lots and lots of food. I've already noticed this place has lots of foreign food. It's got lots of Thai food, lots of Vietnamese food, American food, so much food. So I wanna get moving to eat the food pretty soon. 
I have noticed, however, that this is just one big, big, big long street, and on both sides there's vendors selling lots of stuff, not only just food, but lots of other souvenirs. So it's already standing out amongst all the different night markets for being special, for being unique. And speaking of unique, I want to eat some food. Okay guys, I have seen stores like this all over the night market, so I want to introduce it for you guys. It is a Thai roti banana pancake. That's right guys, banana pancakes. So I'm really excited to dive into this. They have lots and lots of different flavors. Come over here. They've got chocolate, mango, blueberry, cranberry, cheese, uh, all the way to blueberry and chocolate. Well, I'm actually really excited to try this. I'll uh, show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, this looks so good. It's smothered in blueberry and chocolate inside is bananas that's wrapped in this pancake. I am excited to do this. It's more like a breakfast yeah, thing, but... It's almost something you'd get at IHOP. Really good, nice sweet blueberries. Took a phase on the house shit. Whoa! I'm gonna eat like eight of these, but um, did you know that this place has a lot of seafood? This place is just loaded and loaded and loaded with seafood. Now, as you guys know, I don't really like seafood. I don't eat much of it. I'm not even a big fan of it. But look at this. There is just this. What's up? Oh my gosh, look at that. It is just a big squid. Well, guys, this is a can. We'll do all the things you want to the high here. Woo! Look how big that is. What? Anyways, guys, let's go check out some other food. Do you see that? This place has got a whole nightclub right there. So if you've actually gone through, ate lots of food, are you done with the night market, you can go ahead and party it up. But uh, I probably won't be doing that tonight. Now as we're walking, I do want to point out something that I noticed. This night market has a very good balance between little stands and actual restaurants. As you walk, you have lots of different options to go sit inside, eat at a nice sit down restaurant, or just have some small little foods on the side. I actually like that a lot. I'm not seeing as many drink places and I am just really thirsty after the beach today. Something else I'm going to say, and please do not take me the wrong way. This place is almost like Mexico, <laughs> right? I've been to Mexico a lot of times. And this place has that vibe. It's the same feeling that Mexico would have and there are lots of busy places. Now the food is a bit different, but how everything is set up, how the, um, the things people are selling, shells, necklaces, bracelets, a lot of that has what people in Mexico sell in their tourist areas. Okay, this night market also has a lot of massive corn dogs. Look at this. This is about the size of my face and it is just huge. So we actually got the cheese and ketchup flavored, and I just want to try this. It's nice and crispy, and that's a lot of meat in the middle. I'm a big fan of this. How true? Yes, yeah. Okay guys, thank you so much for joining me on this big fun adventure in Kunding, going over the Kunding Night Market. This place is actually really nice. Once again, it's this big long street, the one right behind me. On both sides it's full of vendors, it's full of shops, and full of nice restaurants. It's got a lot of international food, I had a lot of it tonight and I enjoyed it. So I actually like this night market. It's great and it has a lot of different food that other night markets do not carry. That's what makes it so unique here. And those big, big corn dogs. Okay guys, well I had so much fun today exploring around Kunding. This place is awesome. I hope you guys can all have the chance to come. I absolutely loved the beach, it was beautiful, but this sunburn I got is going to hurt tomorrow morning. Speaking of tomorrow morning, we are going on more adventures in Kunding and Kaohsiung before we head home to Jianghua City. So I hope you guys can hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Join my adventures, join the Mijiang team, so you can watch all these adventures coming up. And I think you guys all know the drill. Until next time, I'll see you in Taiwan.